Yes. Now we will be revising redemption of preferences. So, first, what is the meaning of redemption, people? Repayment of money, right? To whom we are going to repay in case of redemption of preferential? We are going to repay it to the preferential holders. Whenever we issue the shares, we are going to take the money from them. Whenever we redeem, we are going to give it back to them. Correct? Yes. So, on the basis of redeemability, preference shares could be divided into two. Redeemable preference shares, irredeemable preference shares. If it is a irredeemable preference shares, what do you mean by that? The payment will be done at the time of winding up of the company. However, no company can issue the irredeemable preference shares. Done. Redeemable preference shares means after certain years you are going to pay them pay them their money back. Right? So now the question comes, sir, can we keep it for 100 years, 200 years, 300 years? The answer is no. That is, as per the Companies Act, the companies will be divided into two parts for this purpose. Company which is involved in the infrastructural activities, not only infrastructural building and all, also financing it. Right? Infrastructural activities, company not involved in infrastructural activities. If the company not involved in infrastructural activities, max to max, they can hold it for 20 years. Within 20 years, they should redeem it off. Correct? If at all, if it's an infrastructural company, then we can tell maximum years is 30, 30 years. However, from the 21st year, at least one tenth should be redeemed every year. Done. So, for the purpose of redemption, people, company can use two amounts. One, by issuing the new shares, shares, shares. And one more is using the free reserves, using the free reserves. However, whenever the company uses the free reserves, whenever the company uses the free reserves, the amount will go out of the business. No doubt in that. But, but, free reserves will be there in the balance sheet as a free reserves only it will mislead the users so what act tells is boss if at all you use the free reserves to redeem the shares to the extent to the extent of face value of the preference shares redeemed using free reserves to the extent of face value of the preference shares redeemed using free reserves, you should transfer it to a special reserve called as capital redemption reserve. You should transfer it to a special reserve called capital redemption reserve. Using CRR, you can only do issue of bonus. Other than that, you can't use CRR anywhere else. Correct? Yes. Okay. So, this point to be kept in mind, that is, to the extent of face value of the preference shares redeemed, CRR to be created to the extent of face value of the preferential redeemed using free reserves using free reserves not from fresh issue using free reserves sir if the shares are redeemed at premium sir then straight away we are going to write off the premium we are going to write it off using free reserves only automatically free reserves will get eliminated when it is premium amount only to the extent of face value that's why it should be created because premium automatic adjustment will happen but face value no adjustment right that's why you should create crr done so section 55 tells one thing crux of it overall crux summary of it very simple whatever the face value of the preference share you are redeeming that should be equal or less than that should be equal or less than free reserves utilized plus Face value of the issue of new shares, 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 shares. So to calculate this section 55 requirement, we should consider only issue of shares. So what is it again? Face value of the preference shares to be redeemed should be equal to free reserves utilized for this purpose plus face value of issue of new shares. However, in case shares are issued at discount, no, then we are going to use the issue price. Practically impossible, but still. Okay. 
Sometimes in question they will ask, how much is the minimum number of shares to be issued? Same formula I am going to do here and there. See, to know how much is the minimum number of issue, we should know how much is the face value required or the money through face value required from the fresh issue. Correct? That how we can find out. Very simple. Face value of the preference shares to be redeemed minus free reserves available for utilization or free reserves utilized divided by face issue face value if you do you will get minimum number of shares to be issued for the purpose of section 55 got it for the purpose of section 55 because we discussed about the cash also remember okay. and only preference share which are fully paid up that could be redeemed in question they might give two kind of preference share one which is fully paid one is partly paid they never told whether partly paid is fully paid up like made it fully paid or no in that case just ignore that you can redeem only partly paid shares sorry fully paid shares if there is only partly paid shares in the balance sheet question won't talk about making it fully paid if they talk about redemption you should make it fully paid first then only you should redeem all the question is silent done Journal entries, when you redeem, of course, the share capital reduction will happen. Reduction in the share capital, you should debit. So, preference share capital account debit. If at all you issue, I like you redeem it at a premium, you are paying extra. You are paying extra. Extra means your expense. Expense means debit. So, preference share capital account debit. Premium on redemption of preference share account debit. To preference share holders account. Preference share holders account debit to bank. If at all some of the preference shareholders whereabouts are not known in that scenario, you should pay only to the extent of how much preference shareholders details you have. Remaining, let it be there in the preference shareholders account only for few years. You have to transfer it to after seven years, you have to transfer it to IEF. I -E Investors Education. Okay. So, for the purpose of section 55, you can't issue any other things or you can't do anything. But money we need not to redeem. For that purpose, we can sell the investment, we can sell the assets, we can issue debentures, we can take loan, whatever we want to do. If at all you sell the investment, entry will be bank account debit to investment if it is at par. If you sell it at a profit, then bank account debit to investment carrying value to profit on sale of investment. If you sell it at a loss, bank account debit, loss on sale to investment. Clear? And keep one thing in mind, the profit or loss on sale should be written off. If it's a loss, should be written off to P&L. If it's a profit, it should be credited to P&L. Very important because it is going to affect free reserves available for utilization like utilization for this uh, redemption it's going to affect oh. next if at all there is a premium you can write it off to p and l so securities premium against also you can write off the point number four of securities premium it can be utilized to provide the premium on redemption of any securities so you can utilize no you can utilize but however also there is a condition if the company follows section 133 it can't use right if the question particularly ask you to use, then only use. Otherwise, please don't use it. You can't use securities premium, practically speaking. Done. So, we have seen certain questions in this. Correct? If at all, question don't contain the information about the cash balance and all, then fine. If at all, question contains the cash balance information, no. Then you should also check how much shares to be issued to satisfy one cash balance requirement you can't just satisfy section 55 right you have to check cash balance requirement also and when you check cash balance requirement you will get some numbers when you check your uh, section 55 you will get some numbers whichever is higher you are going to issue so many number of shares whichever is higher you are going to issue so many number of shares because if you issue the minimum, for example, section 55 will get 15,000 shares as an answer. Cash requirement will get 25,000 as an answer. Then, 
if you issue 50 15000 then you won't be having enough cash if you issue 25000 then cash will also be there minimum criteria is also satisfied because that tells minimum number of shares not maximum number of shares maximum how much ever you want you can issue got it uh? sir what if minimum we will get around 15 for cash purpose we will get around 5000 again highest 15000 if at all you issue 5000 cash requirement will get satisfied but min section 55 won't get satisfied and always remember if you get in the decimals section 55 satisfaction whether satisfying or not we will check now how many shares to be issued if at all you get in decimals you should always round it off to the next number not on the basis of decimals because if you round it off to the previous number due to one or two rupees your minimum criteria won't satisfy got it violation is violation so sir in this scenario what to do sir first you should check to satisfy section 55 what is happening we already did that that is you should check face value of the preference shares to be redeemed minus free reserves available for this purpose but while checking free reserves availability you should check or you should check after considering any loss on sale of investment etc premium on redemption then only the remaining amount only you can use it for CRR creation no so you should check then you will get how much should be the face value from the fresh issue divide it by the face value you will get number of shares to be issued however to check the cash requirement or to check number of shares to be issued to satisfy cash requirement you not you don't want to know the face value of redemption you want to know how much you should pay to them right how much you should pay to them minus amount available to pay to them amount available to pay to them sir what do you mean by that sir other than equity share whatever cash adjustment will happen that should happen for example in question they might tell certain amount is retained investment is sold bank loan is bought debentures are issued right so all those accounts should get affect like bank account should get affected by all those then the balance will come now that you should take that is cash available after issue of securities like debentures and all other than equity shares because that's what we are trying to calculate here sale of investment say you will get some money and uh, they will ask you to retain some money etc then you will get to know how much extra money we need how much extra money we need to get that extra money how many shares to be issued we are going to calculate so how many shares to be issued to get that money so whether we are going to consider face value or issue price face sorry issue price because money required here not section 55 so we are going to divide it by issue price so this was all about this was all about redemption of preference shares if the question particularly tells use the securities premium then only use otherwise please don't use you don't have option then use it otherwise don't use it got it